Hey there! So, I've had a couple people ask me to help them out with learning to speedrun this game. So, I'm pretty much going to be making a tutorial run where it's just going to be a series of videos where I go through the speedrun route and I explain all the tricks, take my time, explain how tricks work, how to do them, etc. For anyone currently or just in the future wanting to know how to speedrun this game. And I'm playing this on the PS2 version, not the HD collection. I don't know if the HD version is different other than the Misery we fight. I'll explain that later, I guess. It's not really a big deal, though. But I'm going to be playing on the PS2 version. I don't know if the PS3 version has all the same tricks or whatnot, or if they patch stuff. So don't ask me. I don't know. Anyways, uh, a couple things to mention before we start. Uh, if you don't have a cutscene, or a cutscene, if you don't have a memory card, then you want to buy one if you want to run this game because this game has a lot of auto saving and loading tricks that will pretty much cut your run in half, actually. <laughs> like, your run will be like half as long if you have a memory card on hand. So, yeah, definitely get one. Uh, one other thing to make mention of, I guess, is that... Oh, two things, actually. One, I'm going to be going for the optimal route, which is to not get roll. But I will be covering a little bit into, like, if you do decide to do the route that gets roll. I'll, like, ex talk about little things that you would do during that as well. Anyways, uh, besides that, the one last thing I want to mention is that I'm aware that my voice is kind of... I have very strong S sound. It's almost, like, lispy. <laughs> and, uh... For that, I say, bear with me. Hopefully you can. Anyways, let's get started. First thing I do is load my game. Because it just started a cutscene. And pretty much all cutscenes in this game... You can pause during most cutscenes and load your game, and what that does is it skips the cutscene. Now if you saw there, there's a little Bentley icon saying I've already watched it. And if you've already watched a cutscene once, it won't force you to watch it again. Assuming it's like an in-level cutscene like this. Instead of like a boss cutscene, or like a cutscene when you're like first entering a world. But all these like in-level cutscenes like this, you can just skip if you load your game. And this game there's a lot of unskippable cutscenes in this game, which is why having a memory card and being able to load your game is so useful. And, uh, yeah, pretty much every time I'm going to be loading my game, not every time, but most of the time, is just to skip cutscenes. Which, I don't know if it affects it in game time, but in real time it saves a ton of time. But yeah, let's keep going. Normally you would climb up here, watch some cutscene about learning some sneaky thief moves and go on into the police headquarters and pretty much get your, the police files and head out but if you get on this weather vane here you notice down here is the final section of the level you got your escape van, normally Carmelita's like over here trying to F you up with her shock pistol and let exit Normally if you jump off this roof, you'll die because it's a pretty big drop. However, there's a corner here that you can grab. And if you tap X without pressing anything like just tap X, don't hold forward on the control stick or anything. Don't like don't even touch the control stick, just tap X. You'll just do a tiny hop hop do a tiny hop rather onto this ledge. And from here, if you Oh, that's cool. Anyways, from here, if you jump outwards onto this wall, like along this wall, you'll actually load this area down below as if it was like you're finishing the level from outside. Normally, this area loads while you're inside. You're kind of loading it through the wall. Like, this is why you need to stay close to the wall. As you kind of... the game thinks you're inside the building and it loads this area below. So it... You pretty much load the area below before you land on the death trigger so that there's no more death triggers there. 
and pretty much the timing for this is just do your first jump, let it ride out a little, and then just do your double jump, and just stay along the wall. Just jump out as far as you can towards like the moon and the Eiffel Tower. But yeah, pretty much just do that. And this whole area is loaded now. Not completely though, like if you'll notice here, Carmelita is not around. And that's because she didn't spawn because I never actually triggered her cutscene yet. Which is up here. So she's not around, but this area is still loaded and fully functional. And from here you just go to the end. And that's pretty much the whole... Her sound file is still there by the way, even though she's not. But that pretty much Once skips again, like the entirety the of Inspector the whole tutorial assist. intro level. I was surprised to see how well she took and it. yeah, that's pretty much it for this part. So look forward to first level in Wales and the true start of the run. See you then.